Right guys, so here we go. I'm going to show you around uh, what I've done. I haven't had to use a soldering iron at all in the whole of this process. So, Raspberry Pi. It's already got Octoprint on this um, micro SD card. It's a um, Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus and all I've got is just some um, double sided tape on the bottom side of it for now. So that's the Raspberry Pi. I want, what I wanted to do is be able to power this without using a soldering iron and getting it all to work just off of the, the power supply in the bottom of the printer without using a soldering iron so I found this converter which I will put in the link below this was 5 dollars from Amazon it's got screw terminals so and a USB port which gives out 5 volts 5 amps and 24 24 in which is very good very good indeed all I've done is just open them up popped in the terminals there and screwed screwed it down so that's that they go in to the power supply I'll bring you a bit closer they go into the power supply and the two that it's in at the moment were there was nothing on them so this is uh, negative and plus so voltage and ground and the wires just correspond back into this that is power to this I then use a standard USB to micro B to power the Pi. So by plugging this in here, plug in this in here, and then when I turn it on, that would power up. This cable here is the cable that comes from the board where you would normally have the Raspberry Pi plugged into and all I've done is fed it down there's a little hole just enough to get a USB cable through uh, where the power for the uh, Z motor is so you just take out a Z motor put it through push the USB port through and push it all back plug it all in and it all turns on so what I'll do now I'm just going to push it all back in turn it round turn it on just so I can show you that it works without using a soldering iron okay so I'll be back okay so what I've done I've uh, popped this back in so it's nice and nice and well nice and it looks okay um, obviously you can do what you want with the uh, cable management all I've done is put some double sided tape on the back of this box just to push it down so it's it's flat same with Raspberry Pi put some double sided tape on a, on the bottom of a case but the top case don't fit this because of these four pins on the Raspberry Pi so I'm going to leave this case off allows better airflow anyway and the blue cable is obviously going into the Pi it comes out out the top down and back into the unit so next time you'll see this it'll be all screwed together and powered on just one last thing when you put the cover which is there at the moment when you put that cover back on there's normally a gap here okay uh, sorry normally a gap here with this gap you can squeeze a USB cable through it so if you want to add a camera to this at any time you can plug it in obviously 
have the cable coming out the top and put the case back on and it won't interfere obviously you'll have the cable you'll have the camera at the back of the printer but there's nothing stopping you of moving it to wherever you need okay so next time you see this it'll be turned okay so once again all i haven't put the bottom on at the moment the bottom's still here because i'm going to put the printer back in its place over there with a webcam on it as well but at the moment it's here as i've said this blue cable goes to the raspberry pi inside the casing you just make sure it's plugged in i mean if you really want you can move the board you can move it around and have this inside the case i'm quite happy with it outside it doesn't matter i can still print anything from the usb ports over there so i'm just going to turn it on artillery logo i've got a bl touch mounted to this as well um, if you want a video on that you uh, let me know in the comments below and i'll show you how i've done that got a, a lovely bit of firmware which is made due to the fact that of this bl touch i've got installed i'm just going to open up the web browser now on with the Raspberry Pi already plugged in can't see this but I am just signing into it there we go Come on. approximately 10 hours later Let's see if I can zoom you in here. Okay, so you can see the screen there. It's reading 16 degrees on the nozzle and only 17 on the bed. But it doesn't matter, I'm just going to control this now using the Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to eat up the bed and the nozzle and you should have been able to see that that is now 220 and this is 60 the nozzles rising and so is the bed um, so I can print from the Pi to here I can print from the USB card as well from the SD card or the USB slot um, and it's now got a Raspberry Pi and it's wireless okay so Raspberry Pi onto a artillery sidewinder X1 without using a soldering iron so it can be done um, all the links in the description below uh, I've got something really good coming up um, you have to bear with me due to the fact it won't be here until December time ish um, so but I've got something very very good coming all right so stick around for that anyway once again be yourselves see you later bye